Antarctica, the southernmost continent on Earth, is a captivating realm veiled in ice and mystery. This expansive icy landscape has fascinated explorers, scientists and conspiracy enthusiasts alike, providing a backdrop for some of the most intriguing and unexplained phenomena of our era. From ancient lost civilizations and extraterrestrial bases to clandestine military operations and undiscovered natural wonders, Antarctica beckons us to question our understanding of history, the present and the potential secrets concealed beneath its kilometers thick ice. Recently, a former US naval officer shocked the world by claiming to have witnessed the entrance to a secret alien base and UFOs while stationed in Antarctica. The question arises, could this assertion be authentic and is there undisclosed information within the grasp of the US government? Join us on an expedition of revelation as we delve into groundbreaking insights about Antarctica and the enigmas concealed beneath its formidable ice. Spanning an area of 14 million square kilometers, Antarctica ranks as the fifth largest continent, yet it remains one of the least comprehended. Nestled at the Earth's southernmost tip, Antarctica is arguably the most captivating and mysterious place on our planet. This coveted seventh continent has entranced adventurous spirits for centuries, promising both awe-inspiring wonders and intriguing mysteries. Despite surpassing Oceania and Europe in size, Antarctica stands out as a unique continent without a native human population. While seven countries asserted claims to Antarctic territory before the Antarctic Treaty of 1959, the treaty does not legally recognize any such claims. Nevertheless, Antarctica is not devoid of inhabitants. The population fluctuates between 1,000 and 4,000 individuals annually, predominantly comprised of scientists and staff at research stations. Many, however, return home during the harsh winters, leaving smaller overwintering crews. Moreover, Antarctica hosts a surprising variety of wildlife, including numerous species of penguins, seals and marine birds, along with diverse sea life and whales along its coasts. Contrary to popular belief, polar bears are not found in Antarctica. They inhabit the Arctic. Despite its lively ecosystem, Antarctica is a land of extremes. It holds the title of being the coldest, driest and windiest place on Earth. 90% of the world's ice covers the Antarctic continent, with the ice sheet spanning over 14 million square kilometers. The ice, sometimes several kilometers thick, especially beneath the Antarctic plateau, dwarfs even towering structures like Japan's Mount Fuji. In fact, if all the ice were to melt, global sea levels would surge approximately 60 meters, underscoring the immense significance of Antarctica's icy expanse. In 1983, at the VTO station in Antarctica, the lowest temperature ever recorded was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius. However, recent satellite measurements with advanced sensor systems have revealed even colder temperatures from space, registering as low as minus 97.8 degrees Celsius. For explorers heading to the South Pole and other destinations, the wind chill effect can make it feel even colder than the recorded temperature. Antarctica's extreme conditions and difficult terrain have made it a challenging subject for study, preserving its secrets beneath a thick ice blanket that has endured for millions of years. This isolation has sparked numerous theories about what might be hidden beneath the surface, ranging from ancient artifacts to evidence of alien visitation and covert military installations. The history of Antarctica is as diverse as its ice sheets. While the continent's official discovery is credited to the Russian expedition in 1820, ancient maps like the Piri Rice map from 1513 hint at knowledge of Antarctica's coastline before it became ice-covered. These maps raise intriguing questions about the exploration and understanding of the globe by ancient civilizations. Did they perhaps visit Antarctica, leaving traces of their presence now buried under the ice? One captivating chapter in Antarctica's history is Operation High Jump, also known as the United States Navy Antarctic Developments Program, 1946 to 1947. 
Led by Admiral Richard E. Byrd, this massive military exercise involved 13 ships, over 4,000 men and numerous aircraft. Officially, its goal was to establish the Antarctic research base Little America 4, but the mission's sudden and early termination has fueled speculation about encounters with unknown technologies or entities. Eyewitness accounts from Operation High Jump describe sightings of unidentified flying objects and advanced aircraft, hinting at the possibility of a cover-up involving otherworldly elements. The alien hypothesis gained support from numerous reports of UFOs and strange phenomena in Antarctica. Tales of silver disks zooming across the sky at speeds and with manoeuvres beyond known aircraft capabilities are common among those who have lived or worked on the continent. These accounts lend weight to theories suggesting Antarctica might be a hub for extraterrestrial activity, potentially serving as a base or waypoint for alien visitors. The secrecy shrouding these sightings, often enforced by military or governmental agencies, only adds to the mystery and speculation. It's worth noting that while rumours of extraterrestrial activity have circulated for years, there are accounts claiming an extraterrestrial presence in Antarctica. In July 2018, Linda Moulton Howe, a renowned US investigative journalist and conspiracy theorist, conducted an interview with an anonymous whistleblower. This individual, identified as Brian, a former Navy personnel from Antarctic Development Squadron 6, disclosed classified information about Antarctica during his conversation with Howe. According to Brian, who served as a first-class petty officer flight engineer, he and his crew encountered unidentified flying objects, UFOs, aliens, and a colossal entrance leading to an alleged alien base during their time at the South Pole between 1983 and 1997. Brian claimed to have observed silver disks flying over the Transantarctic Mountains on multiple occasions. In his interview with Howe, he asserted that there exists a clandestine collaboration between humans and aliens, with Antarctica serving as a significant research hub for these projects. Brian described a large hole located 8 to 16 kilometres from the South Pole in a supposed no-fly zone, where he witnessed unusual occurrences. One notable incident involved a group of scientists who went missing for a week, returning in a state of terror and unwilling to discuss their experiences. Another group near Marie Bird Land vanished for two weeks, and upon their reappearance, Brian's flight crew was tasked with picking them up. The scientists refused to share details and appeared visibly frightened. In correspondence with Howe, Brian mentioned a peculiar restriction on flying over a specific area near the South Pole, supposedly due to an air sampling camp. Despite this restriction, Brian's crew had to fly over the area on two separate occasions. He described seeing a large hole in the ice during these flights, sparking rumours among flight crews of a UFO base at the South Pole. Brian noted that some scientists working at the air sampling camp hinted at mysterious occurrences. To substantiate Brian's claims, Earth Files published a redacted DD-214 document and Antarctic Service Medal awarded to him on November 20th, 1984. These documents were presented to confirm Brian's credentials. The revelations made by Brian have stirred discussions within the UFO community with some considering the information more credible due to Linda Moulton Howe's reputable background as an Emmy Award-winning TV producer, investigative reporter and author. Howe is known for her direct engagement with leading figures in science, environmental breakthroughs and eyewitnesses to unusual phenomena. The intriguing possibility arises. Could there be hidden enigmatic structures beneath the icy expanse of the South Pole? Might they be the handiwork of an advanced extraterrestrial civilization from our distant past? Though Brian's narrative remains veiled in mysteries, elsewhere in the expansive frozen wilderness of Antarctica, a group of scientists stumbled upon a revelation that would reshape the narrative of human history. Nestled deep within the icy vastness, a collection of colossal stone pyramids emerged. Their ancient shapes starkly contrasted with the barren surroundings. 
This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community and captured the imagination of the world. The initial sighting of these pyramids defied all expectations. As the team approached, the magnitude of the structures became evident, towering over the icy landscape like silent sentinels of a bygone civilization. The pyramids, impeccably preserved, adorned with intricate carvings and symbols, seemed out of this world. The tale of uncovering these pyramids commences with a team of researchers from the University of Cambridge engaged in a routine survey of the Antarctic ice shelf. Their primary goal was to investigate changes in ice thickness and their environmental impact. However, what awaited them was beyond their wildest expectations. While flying over the area, the team spotted something unusual, a series of triangular shapes protruding from the ice. They promptly radioed their base station to report the peculiar sighting and were instructed to land at a nearby research station to gather more data. A team of experts from diverse fields, including geology, archaeology and climate science, was assembled to explore the mysterious structures. Numerous challenges confronted the team in their quest to unravel the secrets of the pyramids. The foremost obstacle was the harsh weather conditions, with temperatures plunging well below minus 40 degrees C, requiring specialized gear to stave off the cold. Every move had to be meticulously calculated to avoid the risk of hypothermia. The second challenge was the thickness of the ice, estimated to be several hundred meters. The researchers relied on ground-penetrating radar and specialized equipment to map the area beneath the ice. After months of meticulous research, the team achieved a breakthrough. The pyramids were constructed from a type of rock not native to the region, suggesting they were built by an advanced civilization capable of transporting massive rocks across great distances. Several chambers within the pyramids were discovered, each believed to serve different purposes. One chamber contained an unusual liquid with potent antimicrobial properties, sparking speculation about the advanced nature of the civilization that erected the pyramids. Another chamber housed a series of glyphs and hieroglyphs reminiscent of those found in ancient Egyptian pyramids. The team theorized a potential connection between the civilization responsible for the Antarctic pyramids and ancient Egypt. The unearthing of pyramids beneath the Antarctic ice caused a worldwide sensation in the media. Major news outlets globally covered the news, and social media buzzed with discussions about the potential implications of this discovery. Some speculated that it hinted at the presence of extraterrestrial life or advanced alien civilizations. Others pondered whether it could be remnants of a lost civilization that somehow endured the harsh Antarctic conditions. Located 16 kilometers from the coast, two of the Antarctica pyramids were discovered, while the third one was near the shoreline. This finding suggested the possibility that humans might have inhabited Antarctica around 6,000 years ago, a time when pyramids were being constructed in the Old World. Research by Charles Hapgood supported the idea of an ancient civilization on a continent now covered in ice. In his study of ancient Sea Kings maps, Hapgood published the Piri Race map of Antarctica in the 16th century. The map, which depicted Antarctica without ice, shocked the world. Discovered in Turkey, the map was sent to the US Navy Hydrographic Bureau in 1953. Arlington H. Mallory, who evaluated the map, concluded its accuracy and suggested it might have been copied from a map created 6,000 years ago. Seismic soundings and sonar later confirmed the accuracy of the Piri race map, matching the Queen Maud land in Antarctica. Olm, the leader of the British-Swedish expedition to Antarctica, wrote a letter to Hapgood confirming his theory about the Piri race map's ancient origin. Hapgood, in Maps of the Ancient Sea Kings, asserted that the map, although containing traditional latitudes and longitudes, must have been based on an earlier map. He also noted the use of spheroid trigonometry, believed to have been invented in the 18th century, indicating the map's ancient origin. Despite dating back to 1513, the Piri race map fueled speculation about recent human habitation in Antarctica. In essence, the discovery of the Antarctic pyramids marked a pivotal moment in scientific and archaeological history.
It challenged our understanding of ancient civilizations and their adaptability to extreme conditions. The undeniable intelligence behind the pyramids raised questions about the conventional narrative of human history, potentially reshaping our perspectives. Speculations about extraterrestrial influence on ancient civilizations have always captured the human imagination. Recently, the world was presented with tangible evidence as news of Antarctic pyramids spread rapidly, leaving people from all walks of life intrigued. Governments, scientists and conspiracy theorists found themselves grappling with the profound implications of this revelation. The realization that ancient extraterrestrial beings may have visited Earth, leaving behind a technological legacy, raised profound questions about our place in the cosmos. In response, nations hurriedly sought a presence in Antarctica, with scientific teams and military units flocking to study the pyramids and unravel their mysteries. In another surprising revelation, researchers uncovered a hidden, upside-down world beneath Antarctica's ice. This clandestine realm, located beneath the Larsen ice shelf, revealed a dark and jagged cavern teeming with tiny, shrimp-like creatures. Satellite images had hinted at an unusual groove in the ice shelf near its meeting point with the land. The research team identified this feature as a subsurface river, which they explored by drilling approximately 600 meters below the ice surface, using a powerful hot water hose to access the subterranean chamber. As a camera descended through the icy tunnel into the cavern, the unexpected sight of hundreds of tiny crustaceans known as amphipods surprised the researchers. Initially considering their equipment faulty, the team refocused the camera and realized the importance of the ecosystem thriving there. Craig Stevens, a physical oceanographer, remarked, Having all those animals swimming around our camera means there's clearly an important ecosystem process happening there. The joyous discovery of this shrimp-filled structure marked a significant breakthrough. While experts had long suspected the existence of a vast network of rivers, lakes and estuaries beneath Antarctica, these features remained poorly studied and the presence of life was unknown. Lead researcher Hugh Horan, a glaciologist at the Haringa Waka Victoria University of Wellington in New Zealand, expressed the excitement of being the first to explore this hidden world, initially identified in 2020 through satellite imagery showing a long depression or groove indicative of an underground river. Despite standing out in satellite images, initially, the groove remained undetected on the surface, according to Stephen. However, the team eventually identified a small, gentle slope that led them to the right spot. Upon sending the camera into the river, they were surprised to find that the cavern looked different from their predictions. Contrary to expecting a smooth, flat roof, they discovered an uneven surface with steep undulations and a wider area near the top, resembling a loaf of bread with a bulge at the top and a narrow slope at the bottom, as described by Stephen. Unexpectedly, the researchers found that the water column underground split into four or five distinct layers flowing in opposite directions, challenging their current understanding and models of such environments, as noted by Stevens. Brittany Schmidt, a glaciologist at Cornell University, likened the scene to something out of Alice in Wonderland. While this dark, frigid environment may appear extreme to us, it is home to animals that have adapted to the conditions. With 99.99% .99 of the ocean beneath Antarctica's ice shelves unexplored, there's potential for discovering more weird and undiscovered life in these waters. According to Craig Smith, a seafloor ecologist at the University of Hawaii at Manoa who spent two decades exploring Antarctic waters, strange animals thriving in such places show that life can adapt to bizarre environments on Earth. These under-ice communities might also provide insights into the types of life that could exist in distant places, like the outer reaches of our solar system. Despite the harsh conditions, life beneath Antarctica's ice shelves challenges previous assumptions. The discovery has reignited interest in uncovering lost civilizations and exploring uncharted territories, showcasing the power of human curiosity and the limitless potential of scientific discovery. The findings remind us that science is not just about finding answers, but about asking questions, challenging assumptions, and expanding our knowledge. 
As we contemplate the future, the Antarctic Pyramid discovery underscores the importance of scientific research and exploration. It serves as a call to action, encouraging us to continue exploring our world, pushing the boundaries of what we know, and persistently questioning the mysteries that still elude us. The pursuit of knowledge is an ongoing journey, and there is always more to discover. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell to stay updated on future episodes. We appreciate your support, which motivates us to deliver quality content and continuously improve. Share your thoughts on today's content and let's keep the conversation going.